What is up guys? Unknown Kingdom here, aka Discord, bringing you another Apex video. Just this time, I'm not gonna be going over like a normal Apex game. I'm going to be showing off all of the weapons, loot, and gear that you can find in this, including all of the legends. So this would be the um this would be the training room. It's not really a room, but in season two we had those monsters, season one we had absolutely nothing but that ship. And um, let's just slide in. So going in, pretty, pretty simple concept. Just kick. So I'm going to be starting off with all of the legends abilities. So first off, we have Bloodhound. It was not my time. So with Bloodhound, hang on. Okay, first we're gonna go. Actually, first we're gonna go over these. Okay, so each of these have their own, like, abilities. So we got the gray, the worst. Then we have body shield, um, level 2, I think. Yeah, so the body shield, level 1, 2, 3, and 4. 3 and f body shields, level 3 and 4, have absolutely no difference, except with this one. It says, see right there, it says consumable items take half as long as they used to as they have half as long as they half as long to use same with all of the other ones so for this one not gonna shield can resurrect one ability to consume once upon you so basically if you're down you can re you can revive yourself but it just turns into a normal knockdown shield then we have the um golden backpack guardian angel you revive squad mates with a bonus shields and health then helmet fast charge reduces tactical and ultimate ability charge time so now i'm going to quickly use some ultimate accelerant which basically charge up your ultimate i said this in my first video so just to get ready okay so the first first um bloodhounds passive ability he is able to see tracks that enemies lost by and um, i don't know why this like out of all of my time playing apex it's like every time you have a bloodhound in the area you always see those crows see those crows over there crows crows boom <laughs> anyway so you're able to see tracks from other players left behind so for example if there was a battle right over here i could see that okay next we have um eye of the allfather so in a 90 degree angle you can see behind walls where enemies are at so I can go like behind here and then use it. Scanning the and you can see right where it's at and just pop out and slice them in half. That's, that's a joke. Uh, you don't actually slice people in half. And finally, his ultimate ability. I'm going to try and speed through this to get to the weapons as well. His ultimate, he's able to use um, beast mode or beast of the hunt. So basically, this is the little animation and he's able to see enemy, enemy tracks. And as well, they... He is also able to see a red outline of enemies. Sadly, everything goes gray, as you as you will see here right now. I bathe in the blue. He also moves a lot faster, and as you can see at the top, it lasts for about 30 seconds. So you can see right there how has he, how he has a red outline. You can't see my footsteps, though. You can only see his. So where you're, and you can actually use um, I have the alpha to your advantage here. So Marking our I see him and just boom. So very helpful, very useful on a team if um, if you're going for like a scouting method. So yeah, helpful. And this is a little animation for it going off. Everything just goes back to normal. So next up we have Gibraltar. I'm back in action. Let's do this, brothers. Okay, so I actually am going to have to borrow a weapon. I'm, I'm gonna get on to this later. Okay, so his um, what was that? Okay, I don't forget it. His um, passive ability is he's able to use a shield to block incoming damage coming towards him whenever he scopes in. You can turn this off or on. I recommend it to be on at all times because it's just helpful. Then his tactical ability is he's able to throw down a zone <laughs> shield. They never shoot through this. Um, absolutely indestructible, it just has a time limit. It's actually a trick where you're able to throw the dome shield on top of Lifeline's health throne. I'll get to that. And so, yeah, it lasts for, I think, 18 seconds. And, um, yeah, helpful. 
And last but not least, we have bombardment. Bom bombardment. If you watch my second video, you'll see um, you'll see a gameplay of, of Gibraltar. So he pulls out this airstrike. So he just chucks it. Signaling an airstrike. You can see that little zone. And then next thing you notice, we got bombshells dropping. So what you actually have to do is put out dome shields, and you'll be completely fine. While bombardment um, destroys everyone outside the shield and you will most likely have a gun by then so you'll just be able to like shoot enemies if they come into the shield so helpful for protecting your team next up we have Pretty lifeline easy. I'm coming in. okay lifeline's passive ability is she's able to use healing factors such as phoenix it med kit um shield battery shield cell and syringe two times faster or a lot faster than normally so imagine this um imagine with all of the gold settings everything right here including fast use fast use so if it counted this would literally take like a millisecond to completely restore your health and this would take like a like well they each have different times so this one five seconds use time three seconds five seconds eight seconds and 10 seconds well these only take seven seconds so um yeah next up we have her health drone health drone if you need it and this will connect to anyone's air anyone's well might i say body what the i did not able to do that anyway it will connect to anyone's body and um it'll restore health until it's all out of battery and once it's out of battery it just gets destroyed so, for example, well, not really a for example. So, it's just helpful on team if doing intense gunfights. And finally, we have the lifeline care package. Calling in a lifeline package. Okay, so she can call in a care package. Unlike normal care packages, where it gives you, um, sometimes it gives you a gun, this does not give you any guns whatsoever. It is your own personal care package, and it gives you, like, stuff like this, or shield cells, or a body shield. So, helpful on team if you don't have much. Next up, we have Pathfinder. Here I come, back from the sky. Okay, Pathfinder's passability is, I can't show it here, but there are survey beacons all across the map, and in those survey beacons, you're able to scan them and figure out where the next um, ring will be. Okay, that's all That's all of his, um, also it shows up on the mini map, or normal map, and um, yeah, all of your teammates can see it, not just you. Next up, we have his tactical ability. He's able to use um, a grappling hook to get to higher places. So, or to get to higher places. It does not have, it has a decent um, cooldown time. Also, what you're able to do is see how it, it, it will turn blue in the middle. It's kind of hard to see, but it will turn blue in the middle when it finds something to latch onto. It will be kind of hard to see though. Here, if I go over to this little, to this thing right over here, I can show you what, what I mean. So as you can see, it turned blue. And I can literally like, grapple all the way up here. And then I'm on it. And then it could come up, and it could just be super helpful. And, okay, finally, I, I, this time I will just wait for it to charge up. Almost there. And finally we have Pathfinder's Ultimate, his own personal zip line which he is able to um launch up a zip line. and then ride. Anyone can ride it. And it stays there for the entire game. So yeah. Helpful when in need. Also, you can do insane trick shots with this. So, helpful on team.
Next up, we have Wraith. This time will be different. Wraith's um, passive ability is Voices from the Void. I cannot show it, but Voices from the Void, basically, simple version is if someone's, if you're being aimed at, like right now, if I, I'm being aimed at right now, um, a voice would pop up and it would warn me and I could warn my teammates. I said this in one of, I said this in my first video as well. Now her tactical ability. Um, she's able to swift in from the void, in and out of the void, and um, get decent distance. Void jumping. So she's unable to take any sort of damage and can get the drops on, t on enemies. So I like. So, um, useful when getting out of a gunfight. Sadly, you leave a small little trail that enemies can follow to find out where you're at. So, um, for example, I could use it. Enemies could see. So what you could actually do is go in. Boy jumping. Come around on the other side of enemies. You cannot see enemies in the outside and just get to jump on them. You are not, you are yeah. unable to see enemies doing this. And finally, her ultimate. She's able to create a portal that anyone can use and last for an entire minute. So, she has a... Here, I'll show you. She Setting has a, a certain amount of portal strength, like it says up there, rift energy. You can either pause or keep going. So, it'll... So, it depends on what distance you go. So, and it follows you in any direction. Portal's so, ready. I will, and once you go through, it goes in the exact way that I went through. Um, helpful getting your team out of a gunfight if you don't want to be discovered. Okay, next up we have Bangalore. Time to drop, shock, and rock. <laughs> okay, passive ability. She's she moves six percent faster when being shot, or not not like shot, but shot at. So like this guy right here, for example, if he was shooting at me, I'd move six percent faster, and um, possibly outrun him. And now her tactical ability. She is able to um shoot in the gas grenades. And it's it's not impossible to see through it, like you can see just the bottom, but it's very difficult. And it also, if you aim correctly, it also damages enemies. So like I can hold it. And as you can see it I can just hold it for a couple of seconds. Aim it towards someone, and if I hit them, Pop in the chimney. you see it does damage. So, I recommend to use it in the chimney. So, it makes like a small explosion that damages enemies. So, we're gonna use a couple of ultimate accelerants. And finally, her ultimate ability, Rolling Thunder. So, um, it's an airstrike, kind of like bombardment, but you tuck it. Painless knocking at the door. And instead of it just coming around in a circle, the missiles come down, and what you're able to do is actually pop some Give smoke. Give the chimney. And they'll be blind, and then. Yep, powerful, and very helpful on a team. Smoke out. So, if you're going for like um, a non-defensive strat, Bangalore is your kind of person. Next up, we have Costa. That was enlightening. Passive ability is is very simple. Passive ability is very simple. Basically, whenever he um, uses his toxic gas, which is he has toxic gas barrels, just this one right here, that you can throw down. Placing an independent variable. I will have to borrow a weapon, and it will deal damage to opponents. So, whenever you walk in, they can see where they're at. Um, you can place six at a time, all in different places. Placing gas trap. Gas trap deployed. Placing gas trap. So if I quickly borrow this. Incoming grenade. Give shot. Okay. 
and um, so they can be shot six at a time, like I said. You can see where exactly where they're at, and if My you go in, um, I'm pretty sure you're able to see enemies. So like, spotted one. Yeah. So helpful. And finally, his Nox grenade. This is a gas grenade that you can just chuck. Breathe it in. It explodes through damage during explosion, and it'll just start ticking away. My enemies. vision is clear. Helpful when going for a non-defensive strat. Next up, we have Mirage. Here I come, Mirage to the rescue. After being rescued. Okay, this time I will have to kill myself. Throwing our star. Throwing our star. So give me just a second. Oop! Looks like I'm, I need one more. Frag out. First, I'm showing off his passive ability. So with it, his passive ability is if he gets knocked down, a decoy will drop while he cloaks and escapes. And this is also a self-revive that I was talking about. It takes much longer than a normal revive. So, helpful at least. His tactical ability is able to send out a decoy, and so, for example, you can send out this decoy Take and run the decoy. exact opposite direction. Or, I saw this in a I saw this in an, uh, another video before. What someone did is there was a Bangalore around, and she had some smoke. She had a smoke grenade out. So they were fighting, and what he did is he placed down a decoy the right there, Muslim. and sent out himself as the fake decoy, and then stood right as he stopped, right as he um, hit another thing. She took out the decoy, he turned around and turned on her. And finally, his ultimate ability, Vanishing Act. Simple concept. He cloaks and sends out a bunch of decoys. Duke to the rescue. So I can just, I can cloak. I run a lot faster, and while I cloak, there's other decoys to distract enemies. She got bamboozled. So, yeah, helpful when escaping. <laughs> Next up, we have Octane. Whoa, what a rush! His passability is Swift Mend, which out. means. that he will, if you look down in the bottom left, you can see very, very swiftly, it's called Swift Mend, he will start healing when not getting shot. So I am going to quickly pop off a Phoenix kit. Healing. This only took a couple of seconds. Okay, now his passive ability, or his tactical ability is, um, Stim. I said this in a video before. So basically, you can run and this mix and jabs himself with this, and um, he moves 20% faster, but at a cost. He loses 10 health in the process. So helpful when trying to get the rush on enemies. And with his swift mend ability, it's absolutely no problem. Now his final ability, I showed this in a video before, my second video, um, he's able to throw down a jump pad, jump pad out. and it's if you throw time. far enough, you can, sw you yeah. can um, swiftly get on it, and it sends you up to a height. It will always stay there as well. So you can launch in any direction, and you will always launch the exact direction that you do. Even with Mirage's decoys, you're able to send them off the launch pad. So, helpful again when getting the rush on people. Next up, we have Watson. Good to be back. Now, Watson's passive ability is that one ultimate accelerant, as you can see, it's sparking, 
One ultimate fill run will charge up her ultimate fully. Now her tactical ability is, I'm gonna quickly do this away from the, f from the um, weapons. She's able to place down multiple fences. For a certain fences. distance. Fence placed. And you can merge all of them. That's a pretty fence. And so I just created a box around this bot. And um, they can't escape without taking damage unless, unless of course, they be smart and shoot these. They're able to shoot those normally. Because they're mine, I'm not able to shoot them, but you're able to shoot those and it deactivates part of the fence. So in this case, it would deactivate this and this part. It does absolutely no damage to um, people and you're able to pick up the notes and get them back. Also, what I did there is I'm actually able to put it right here, and if I move it over here, I can merge this one Lane together. Fences. And I can also, if I be careful, I can go back in and bring it over to here. If it was close enough, I could merge it. Fence placed. So as you can see, I'm merging those two right now. Helpful. Um, Next up, we have her ultimate ability. This thing, I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> you pl she places it down. I am the storm. And it will get rid of all incoming bad things. And so, for example, if I chucked a grenade over there. Swallowing an axe, tossing an axe, swallowing a grenade. Doesn't even get close. So bombardment against this um, this would win. It also, um, increases speed. And, as well, the final thing that I could do is recharge shields. So, like, I can't even kill myself doing this. Oh, I guess I can. So, as you can see in the bottom left, I am, my shields are recharging near this thing. Very helpful when, um, when someone calls it an airstrike. Finally, we have crypto. Thanks for not giving up on me. Crypto's cr all of crypto's abilities rely on his drone, which I will show in two seconds. Okay, so his drone is his tactical ability. He's able to send out a drone. An extra pair of eyes. Um, as you can see, there's crypto right now. So the range on the drone is 200 meters. So once I get all the way over here. It is actually a very far it is a very far distance. So there's two there's two modes. You got level, which is just you can't go down, and you got direct, which is you can go down. Now what he's able to do is exit the drone. Out of my drone. I'm and good to go. If you look very closely, you can see it up there. It's very hard to see. But he's able to enter the drone. Switching to drone view. Watch and this my is back. where his passive ability comes in. He's able to get a lock on enemies showing exactly where they're at. As well, the banners, as you can see now, it says how many enemy squads are in the area. So if I turn around, you can see that there's technically one enemy squad because it's three people, but it does not count. So finally, um, not his ultimate ability, but one, one more thing that he's able to do with the drone is recall it from any distance. And if it gets destroyed, there's a 40 second cooldown. So I can recall it, and there's a little animation. And it will just return to me. And finally, his ultimate ability. Getting my eyes in the sky. He's able to get up close to enemies. I'm back. Logged off my drone. Use his ultimate. Executing reboot. And there's an EMP that will disable any kind of trap and deal 50 shield damage to opponents, slowing them down as well. Very very helpful and annoying okay now i'm going to swiftly go through each of the weapons first we have the charge rifle energy energy based weapon has a small short um burst rate and then can fire next up we have the triple tape energy based sniper same as the charge rifle as a three three shot radius so i can shoot here and if you actually hit so if i if you get closer you can shoot three shots grenade. next up we have devotion 
LMG that starts out slowly and eventually charges up. And finally, for energy base, we have the Havoc. Charges up, and then she gets on the again to fire. This is my favorite weapon. Next, next we have the heavy weapons. That was the energy base. First off, we have the Wingman. Um, heavy base pistol can deal high amounts of damage. And you have to be skilled to use the Wingman really well. Next up, we have the Spitfire. Just like the, um... Devotion, it is an LMG, sadly it does not have a um, charger to it, it just can fire straight, but a fully charged LMG, a fully charged um, Devotion is way more powerful. Next up we have the Longbow, um, it, it, is, it is a sniper, and has sort of like a small tool down to it when shooting in between shots. Next up we have the Prowler SMG, it's just, a, it's just an LMG. Um, it does have a mode where you're able to do it, um, with the select fire receiver you can make it to where the Prowler SMG can be a full auto, auto gun. For, next up we have the Hemlock, a Hemlock Assault Rifle. Um, it's like, it's a, it's a burst assault rifle, firing three shots each burst. Next up we have the Flatline, it's an assault rifle, not a burst though. Moving on to light ammo weapons, first we have the RE45, it is like a very swift, swift pistol that you can just hold down, it's like an Uzi, then we have the P2020, just a straight up pistol, then we have the R301 carbine, a assault rifle even though it is light ammo, which you would think would be an SMG, next we have the R99, um, SMG and very fast fire rate. I recommend getting an extended light mag for that. Next, we have the alternator SMG. It used to have an attachment called Skull Piercer, where it would do 10 times, it would do a lot more damage to the head. And finally, we have the G7 Scout um, sniper and has a mode where it just shoots and with a select, I'm pretty sure. With a double trap trigger, you're able to put it in to where it shoots two times. So it has a burst mode instead. Next we have shotguns. First we have the Mozambique, possibly the worst gun in the game. It has three, three shots before it needs to be reloaded and can do high amounts of damage. And next up we have the Peacekeeper. Um, high, very, very high amounts of damage. When up close, this is the most powerful shotgun. Possibly. Next up, we have the EVA 8 Auto. It can also turn into a burst. So, it's like a burst shotgun. But with the double trap trigger, you're able to make it to where the EVA 8 shotgun turns into a burst, where it shoots two rounds every shot. I will show you. So, you can do it like this opposed to hitting it very slowly like that. And finally, we have the last three weapons, the most powerful in the game, the L-Star. Very. And each of these final weapons all have their own ammo set. Once you run out of ammo on these, you don't get any more. So, it has a cooldown period of a few seconds when getting ready. Has a, has a cooldown period right in the middle when you are firing. So as you can see, that would be the cooldown. Next up, we have the Mastiff Shotgun, the most powerful shotgun in the game. It shoots in a star pattern, or it shoots in a lined pattern, and can deal a lot of damage. So as you can see, if I shoot this middle one, it'll get all three. Or so I thought. And finally, the most powerful sniper in the game, the Kraber. The Kraber is a high, a high damage based sniper rifle. Can hit from very far away and can one shot absolutely. As long as it's a headshot, 
if it's just a normal body shot, then it will not one shot anyone. So that is my list of every single weapon and um, gun in Apex. Every single weapon and legend in Apex. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.